In spring of 1836, it seemed as though Santa Ana's armies were going to crush the rebellion in Cojera y Tejas. As the Texian army retreated, Santa Ana hoped to cut them off before they could reach their government in Galveston. With Mexicans close on their tail, Sam Houston knew they only had one option, to face the enemy head on. He soon led the Texians in a heroic last stand at the Battle of San Jacinto. As the Texian army marched onwards, they came to a fork in the road leading to Nacogdoches one way and to Harrisburg the other way. With no discussion or orders, the troop went towards Harrisburg and, upon arrival, captured a Mexican soldier who revealed that Santa Ana had recently passed through. Houston quickly realized that this could be his chance to defeat Santa Ana and win the war. He ordered the Tejano soldiers to wear cardboard in their hats to differentiate themselves from the Mexicans. After rousing his troops by reminding them of the massacres of the Alamo and Goliad, the Texian army was ready to confront the Mexicans. The Texian army of 900 men reached Buffalo Bayou on the morning of April 20th, 1836. They set up camp inside the tree line, both hiding from the Mexicans and providing them cover. A few hours later, Santa Ana's force of 700 men set up camp in the middle of a field on the river bank. Very soon, the Texians engaged the Mexicans in a number of small skirmishes. In the third skirmish of the day, many of the Texian infantry charged into battle against Houston's orders. This caused internal conflict among the Texians, as Houston didn't want Santa Ana to know their true strength, and the soldiers wanted to go ahead and fight. When morning came, another 500 Mexican reinforcements arrived, now outnumbering the Texians. The new arrivals to the Mexican camp were inexperienced soldiers, unlike Santa Ana's forces, and had marched for a whole day, so they were quite exhausted. When there were no Texan attacks in the morning, the Mexicans let their guard down and allowed their troops to rest. With Mexicans no longer on guard, Houston sent the war hero Def Smith to destroy the bridge and cut off Santa Ana's only escape route. Colonel Mirabu Lamar readied the cavalry for a charge, while Lieutenant Colonel Henry Millard prepared two Texan artillery pieces, called the Twin Sisters, for the attack. At 4.30 in the afternoon, the Twin Sisters opened fire and the Texians charged. Mexican soldiers began running for their lives, but were shot by Texans shouting, Remember the Alamo! Remember Goliad! During the battle, Houston was shot in the ankle. After 18 minutes, the battle was over. 650 Mexican soldiers were killed, while only 11 Texians were. Amidst the chaos, Santa Ana tried to escape. When he found the bridge was destroyed, he hid in the swamp. Texian soldiers found him in the following morning and brought him before the wounded Sam Houston. Houston spared Santa Ana's life in exchange for ordering the Mexican army to leave Texas. Santa Ana signed the treaties of Velasco, making Texas an independent state. However, as Santa Ana was a prisoner at the time, the Mexican government refused to ratify the treaties, thus never considered Texas a legitimate state. After Santa Ana's defeat, the other Mexican generals wanted to reconquer Texas, but Mexico was too weak and had to focus on closer rebellions. Although Mexico continued threatening invasion, the victory at San Jacinto marked the end of the Texas Revolution and the beginning of the Republic of Texas. After the creation of the Republic of Texas, Crowds shouted for Santa Ana's execution, but the Texas government, now led by the almost unanimously elected Sam Houston, was merciful and sent him back to Mexico. Today, a massive column topped with a star memorializes the miraculous victory at San Jacinto, erected 100 years after the victory of the battle. To Texans, San Jacinto is one of the proudest moments in state history, and is one of the most one-sided victories in American history. Don't forget that since my channel's first anniversary is coming up, I am hosting a Q&A, so be sure to comment questions or message me on social media or email me directly. I will put together a video as soon as I have enough questions, and I look forward to seeing what you have to ask me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Late Modern History for inside information, behind the scenes, and sneak peeks at upcoming videos. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. This is Matthew, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye. Where's the dear baby dear from your eye? Though it's hard to pass, I know, I know. I'll be sick of the death to go, don't cry.
Jag säger, du 